And good evening, everyone. I'm Leslie Adamy. Thank you for being with us on this Friday at 10 o'clock. At the top tonight, the COVID-19 vaccine rollout continues to ramp up across the state and right here in the coastal bend. According to the state health department's vaccine dashboard, as of tonight, over 13,000 people in Oasis County have gotten the first round of shots and over 1,500 people have received both shots. Meanwhile, 2,500 doses were given out this morning in the health district's drive through clinic and another one planned for tomorrow. It's our top story at 10. Thousands of people showed up early this morning, some even having to be turned away at a, after a certain point to get in line at the Richard Borchard Fairgrounds in Robstown to get the vaccine. This after public health officials received 5,000 doses just yesterday. These vaccines specifically for people who fall into the phase 1A or 1B groups, which here on your screen, you should be seeing a breakdown of everyone who falls into that. We also have it on our website for you. Vaccinations will begin being administered at 8 a.m. tomorrow. In all, the health district reports they gave out more than 2,500 doses today and have a little over 2,400 left for tomorrow. Now we want to remind again, there's no online pre-registration for this to sign up. You are going to need to register at the fairgrounds right there on site. And we know for events like this, it can certainly be nerve wracking if you're first seeing the long lines and the traffic flow, but you know, there's a system in place to help get you moving. If you're gonna enter along Texas Yes Boulevard, then you'll get registered before moving to exhibit hall A for the shot itself. Everyone will be monitored for a little while just to you know make sure there are no severe reactions. However, for those of you who do have severe allergies, Keep in mind, you're gonna be asked to stay behind just a little longer, then everyone will exit through Terry Shamsey Boulevard. And if you don't get vaccinated tomorrow, no worries, you're gonna have more opportunities here soon. The health district expects to get another 4,000 doses on Monday for individuals still in phases 1A and 1B. And if everything goes smoothly and the vaccines arrive on Monday with no delay, the health district plans to activate another mega vaccine drive on Tuesday. So we will of course keep you updated on that. And according to the FDA, the most common side effect for the two available, two vaccines available includes pain and soreness at the injection site. Other people may experience things like fever, chills, tiredness, headaches. FDA officials also issued a warning for anyone with facial fillers they say the Moderna vaccine may trigger swelling in those areas. So something to keep in mind if you have facial fillers. And although we're seeing thousands of people receive the vaccines locally, achieving what's called herd immunity is gonna take some time. And here's why. City County Health Director Annette Rodriguez believes that at this current pace, it could take another seven or eight months to get as close to herd immunity for the 550 thousand people who live in the coastal bend. That's why she and County Judge Canales are hoping the state will send more vaccines and that our regional hub will start to vaccinate 20,000 people each week. We are absolutely confident we can do 4,000 a day and um, we might even be able to do 5,000 if we stretched it out. So in other words worked way into the night. And so I want uh, everybody to know that my goal is to figure out how we can become sustainable uh, four days a week. Judge Canales says the state of Texas is supposed to send out 800,000 doses of the vaccine next week. She and our health director are both hoping they can get their hands on at least 10,000 vials. And Corpus Christi Mayor Paulette Guajardo tells 3 News that several local sites are also being considered for those massive drive through clinics as well. The health department has been using the Borchard Fairgrounds because of its immense size. But still, many people would like to see a site opened up that's closer to city residents in Corpus Christi. Annette Rodriguez weighs in. We're looking at American Bank Center. We're looking at, you know, Greyhound Racetrack. We're looking at the natatorium. There's a lot of other places, but you have to consider, are they charging? You know, uh, can, do we have enough resources to get out to all of these places? So there's a lot of things that go into something of this magnitude. And since the mass vaccination program is expected to continue on for 
most of the year. There are also plans in the works to hire more medical professionals to help out in that effort. And in case you missed it on 3 News at 6 o'clock, we do want to give you the daily COVID-19 case counts being reported for Nueces County. The county is reporting 188 new cases on this Friday. And that's going to bring the total number to 32,552 positive COVID-19 cases being reported since March of last year for the county. Now, sadly, we did learn of one new COVID-related death tonight. The patient said to be a man in his 90s. And currently, there are 183 people in the hospital, 52 said to be in intensive care with COVID-19. And while still in the midst of this COVID-19 surge, case numbers and hospitalizations don't be don't appear to be slowing down anytime soon, unfortunately. You know, there are a number of reasons as to why this is, but Dr. Chris Bird with the COVID Task Force says many workplaces seem to be a hot spot. As of this evening, about 12% of current hospital beds in the county are being used for COVID-19 patients. Not only does that overwhelm and strain hospital staff, but it also means businesses may have to start limiting their capacities as well. We won't expect businesses to roll back to 50% um, capacity until at least Thursday of, of next week. And that's the earliest that it could possibly happen because it takes seven days above this threshold to trigger that. Bird says Noises County is one of the few trauma centers across the state that hasn't had to roll back, but he doesn't expect that to really last much longer. Health experts say the message remains the same for the community. Keep your mask on and keep following all of those safety protocols.